Hey, my name is Marcus Burton, Director of Product Development with CWMP. We're here in this session to talk about some basic wireless LAN terms that are often confused, and uh, it's a great place to start with wireless LAN education. So we're going to talk about five different terms that are basically all related to the services uh, provided by a wireless LAN. So let's start by talking about a service area. So let's draw an access point in the middle of a service area. You're going to mount this access point to the ceiling. And based on that access point's antenna gain and transmission pattern, transmit output power, all of these things that are related to, to RF propagation, this antenna is going to service a certain area of physical space. And that area is generally called the basic service area. So the BSA, basic service area, is the area provided or served with wireless LAN services by an access point. In addition to the BSA, we also have a term called the BSS. Now, each individual access point's service set is called a BSS. So a basic service set is a BSS. And this includes, uh, this is an, an SSID-specific set of services. So an access point may have multiple SSIDs, multiple network names or multiple networks that it serves. Each one of those is a BSS. So when you have multiple clients, we'll put the clients up here in blue that are connected to this access point. Those access points, or that access point and those blue clients are all part of the, we'll just call it the blue basic service set. Now moving on from there, each basic service set is identified uh, by a BSS ID, a basic service set identifier. Now the basic service set identifier is in the same format as a MAC address. In fact, most basic service set identifiers are the actual MAC address of the access point. Now when the MAC address uh, of the access point, or when the access point serves multiple basic service sets, the BSS ID is, it's, needs different BSS IDs for each service set. So it's going to take this base MAC address for the first BSS, and then each each additional BSS is going to get its own BSS ID, so it's basically just going to increment the MAC address by one. So that's what a BSS ID is. Now a BSS ID is identified largely by the SSID. So each basic service set, like we discussed before, is identified by an SSI, or by a BSS ID, which is correlated to a network name. So the BSS ID is the MAC address, and the SSS ID might be something like corporate data. Uh, so that identifies what type of services are provided by that network. That is the network name, the SSS ID. The BSS ID is the MAC address that identifies each unique basic service set. When you have multiple basic service sets served by the same access point, so if you're going to have a corporate data and a corporate voice and maybe a guest Wi-Fi SSID, so three SSIDs on the same access point, each of those are their own BSS with their own BSS ID. Now let's say that you've got multiple access points in your building. And you've got them configured to, to overlap. Your service areas are going to overlap so that you've got, you've got services uh, comprehensively across your building. This is called an extended service set, so an ESS. Now an ESS is basically multiple BSSs. The terminology there sometimes can get a little bit confusing and some people even argue about whether an ESS has to be multiple BSSs or if one single BSS can also be an ESS. That just adds confusion un unnecessarily. So think of an ESS as multiple BSSs that support the same SSID. So each one of these access points is going to have a shared SSID, but they're also each going to have their own BSS ID. So that as clients, let's just say this client right here, he can hear both of these two access points at the same time, and he identifies them as unique access points by this BSS ID. So even though they share the same SSID, maybe corporate data, the BSS ID for each one is different. So, so this client is able to determine that's one access point and that's the other access point. They're both in the same service set, extended service set, um, so you can join either one using that same SSID. They both should support the same uh, parameters within that service set, 
um, but it's two different, uh, basically, RF, RF distribution, or two different types of RS, RF distribution from each access point. So those are some basic wireless LAN terms. Just to rehash real fast, basic service area is the coverage of a single access point. A BSS is the service set, the parameters and the services that are supported by a single access point, actually by a single SSID of a single access point. The BSS ID identifies each BSS. The SSID is the network name. And an ESS is multiple basic service sets provided by multiple different access points. So those are some basic wireless land terms for you. Again, my name is Marcus Burton. For more information, visit CWMP.com.